GP100 22 long rifle from Sturm Ruger. You know, the Ruger GP100 has been around for several years now. It's a dandy uh, 357 Magnum. Um, it was until now, anyway, all of them was. Uh, they're a heavy duty, durable gun. I've never heard of anybody shooting one apart. You know, a lot of guns on the market, they got to be retimed and rebuilt every now and then. The GP100 ain't like that. It's simple, it's rugged, it's reliable, they're accurate. They're very good weapons. Now Ruger's come out with a version of the GP100 that's a 10 shot, 22 long rifle, which is just a, a, a dandy concept, I think. Don't know why it hasn't come out before now. But there's some nice features of this gun I really like. One, is this one's got a good tight barrel cylinder gap. Tighter than most of these days. It's four one thousandths of an inch, uh, consistent all the way around. Of course, you got 10 shocks. Um, to open a cylinder, you push in here instead of a sliding thing. That's a nice feature of the GP100. Ejection, it's got a long positive ejection. Kicks them out of there really well, and everything is ejected great on this. I was kind of worried about that part because when you got 10 cartridges in there to eject at once, a lot of time they get a little sticky if they don't have those uh, chambers polished correctly. Ruger did it right on this. The only one that was sticky at all was some uh, Wolf target ammunition. Everything else, all the high velocity CCI, Remington, Winchester, Everything I had kicks right out of there with one stroke of the ejector, falls out really easily. That's real nice. Trigger pull on this, it's a good smooth trigger pull. Comes in about nine and three quarter pounds on this, but it's very smooth, don't feel that heavy. The single action pull, again, nice and crisp, hardly no travel on it, about three and three quarter pounds on this revolver. This has a five and a half inch uh, medium weight barrel on it, it's got a target crown on it, nice up it's square post on your sights when you're looking at it uh, so I like that but it also has a, a fiber optic green uh, dot in the middle of it your rear side has got a white outline just for windage and elevation correction which is uh, really important on the 22 because a lot of times they just shoot a lot differently uh, it's a very smooth very well made stainless steel it's got the good original style uh, GP100 grip on it which gives you a good good grab on the weapon um, just a really nice revolver. Shoots really well. It, this one here is amazingly accurate. Better than I thought it would be. But usually on a, a pistol and things, I shoot five shot groups. This holds ten. So I shot ten shot groups in here. The largest group I shot with any ammo I tried at 25 yards out of the ranks and rest was an inch and three quarters. The smallest was an inch and an eighth. So it was very consistent from one ammo to the other. I tried about nine different kinds of ammo in this revolver shot for accuracy and it all did really well you know I was well pleased with the accuracy on this you know uh, uh, up to three inches would have, it would have been suitable with me if I'd had a couple of them that grouped well but in this gun every ammo I tried shot really well so you can use whatever you can find out there now sometimes 22 ammo is still hard to find but uh, anything you get is going to shoot well in this revolver if the rest of them shoot like mine these guns are available now they're shipping now from Sturm Ruger when you see this uh, video read this review uh they're on the way gun weighs 42.6 ounces empty so it's a good hefty gun but it's not uh, not overly large not overly heavy to carry for a good trail gun just a really nice well-made revolver from sturmruger it's the gp100 22 long rifle